Uh, congratulations. Um, so you voted, and this is what you voted for. Can you believe it? You voted for me to show you Sargon's, Sargon's Milk Boy. So I woke up to this stop it. Time. Stop. Stop. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Sargon's milk boy. Look at him. He look. Uh, I call. I call him milk boy because I don't know his name, and he looks like bagged milk from Canada. I showed you that earlier, but we'll show it again for the kids. For the kids that ha that missed it. Uh, little bagged milk action. Uh, this is just what he looks like. You just look at his face. Now look at that. That's that's just who he is. He's a bag of milk. You know it's true. You can't deny it. Even if you like this guy, you're like, yep, bag of milk. I agree with you because I'm correct about it. So, um, this guy, he does Lotus Eaters with Sargon, who is dumb. Uh, Sargon, by the way, ugh, who is also here in studio. Uh, actually, that's that's not true. This is Sar Sargon. He's, you can see because he's got a monocle and a mustache. He's fancier. He's fancier, Sargon. Um, but uh, yeah, so he's he's fancy now. Uh, anyway, so we'll Milk Boy over here picking up the slack where Sargon uh, is leaving it. And uh, <laughs> your trash can is my sleep paralysis demon. What trash can? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, uh, and so Milk Boy is going to tell us how he could have defeated Antifa four years ago. So so he's gonna he's gonna uh, cut Antifa off at the pass. And uh, defeat them before before their things. Okay. Uh, give more credit to bag milk. At least it won't make you sick to your stomach like that guy. Uh, let's just say if I slurped milk boy, I would shit lava. Okay? Let's just say that. Anyway. So I woke up to this in my timeline the other day. Portland police share the community's concern about the barricades, occupation, and criminal activity on North Mississippi. Those present at the barricade should leave it behind, put down your weapons, and allow the neighborhood to return to peace and order. Okay. We're aware of the stockpile of weapons and the presence of firearms. We are aware of the threats to the community, to media, to police. We've seen the attacks. The Portland police will enforce the law and use force if necessary to restore order to the neighborhood. It can be avoided with those participating, ending it peacefully, by putting down their weapons and leave the barricade. The people living near the occupation have suffered for weeks. That has grown worse. We understand their suffering. If you live nearby, please report criminal activity in addition to the barricade by calling the police. Remain cautious as you come and go from your home or business. For your own safety, avoid confrontations around the occupation. That wasn't my Windows sound. Those without a need to enter should avoid the area for the time being. This occupation can be solved easily, and we ask those present at the barricades to leave them behind immediately. Allow the neighborhood to return to peace. Do you think that maybe the protest about police violence, do you think it's possible that the presence of police exacerbate the issue. <laughs> it's literally one street. I, 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 uh, I think, I think maybe the hyper militarized American police are the problem. Surprise. And their response to being called out for a problem is to do that more. There have been zero times in human history where someone was doing a bad and someone said stop doing that and then doing the bad even more stopped it from being a bad? You know what I'm saying? Never happens. It's literally never happened. More of stuff that's bad has never been not bad. It's just more of it. That's the easiest way I can put that to you. Okay. 
All right. By the way, part of the reason that Antifa puts up barricades on streets and stuff is because uh, uh, right-wing fascist terrorists run them over if they don't with their vehicles. Yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, 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 so this was in response to the new Antifar Autonomous Zone, this time set up in Portland, which must be, I don't know, the, the fifth Autonomous Zone or such that's been set up this year. And that's kind of the problem. I've lost count because this isn't really news anymore. The, the big problem... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I might speak a little milky, but this is how I talk. The big problem in America is five uh, zones, five of them, in the whole, in the whole, the whole place. That wouldn't be a big deal in just London. It's five five zones in the whole state of the United States, all of them. All of the states just two just 50 of them, there's only 1% neutral zone to state ratio. Okay. If Carl if he were milk, yeah, I'm telling you. It's just Carl if he was milk. We can't go on any further. Hold on, hold on. I have a, I, I, I need to do something. One moment, please. Provide me a moment, please. I just need just a little bit of time. Okay. All right. Okay, so imagine being milk. Can't relate. Can't relate to being milky. Definitely not me. Definitely not me. Okay. All right. <laughs> gotta get milk. Quick, gotta get gotta get real milky. All righty. Boink, boink, boink. Yes, yes, yes. Good, yes. You don't know what I'm doing and that's okay. I don't need you to know. It's not important for me that you know what I'm doing. Perfect. All right. No, it's not. Anyway. <clears throat> Some of you have been here before, but this is, this is, it, it, I can go no further. I can go no further. Something must be done. Something must be done to this milky, milky man. This goddamn milker. And that's something I want to remind people. This isn't normal. And to make that point, let's go back a few years to when this wasn't a thing. The oldest piece of media I could find that references an anti far style organization in the modern sense that we know them was a 2014 documentary from Vice in which they demonstrated a far left group in Sweden which were known as the Revolutionary Front. Did you know that the Revolutionary Front isn't Antifa, but just anti-fascist? These are different things that want the same thing, but they're different. So it's not really like the same, right? Like you wouldn't you wouldn't call that the same thing. It's like saying this European basketball team, wow, that sure is similar. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not the same. It's not the same thing as the NBA. Uh, just different. Uh, but But, you know, you know. Antifa as an idea is much older than 2014. It's just, that's a totally different group. I'll be right back. Let's see how this went. Oh, that's terrible and perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. That is exactly what I was hoping for. It, it nailed, it really nailed the complexion, I must say. This is, this is the ideal scenario for this. Okay, so, let's put that, uh, oh, I don't know. There we go. Can we just, <sighs> perfect. I also need,
Cool. It nailed his complexion. <laughs> it's so milky. It's so milky. And then if Sargon ever shows up, we can just swap back and forth. There we go. He's so milky. Mmm, milk. Yeah. God, it's like, I can't tell the difference. It's, it's like he's in the room with me. It's nuts. It is like he's in the, the, the room. Like, seriously, it's no different. Like, when you have this here, like, oh, God, Carl showed up. Nope. Nope. It's actually just a trash can. Jesus. Mmm, milky, milky, mommy milky. Mmm, yep. So. They attacked protesters, broke into people's houses, smashed up their houses, and one of them was even being charged for attempted murder for stabbing a man twice in the back. I have a question. What does this have to do with uh, uh, Seattle residents? Is there anything going on here that I need to that we could apply to Seattle? I some people in Sweden did a thing. So Seattle, I guess. I, what? What? Milk Boy, please explain. Not saying much. Okay. Det var den arbetarklassens intressen som alltid måste vara i första hand. Och eh, därför så samarbetar vi mot ett gemensamt mål att det, det är ett socialistiskt eh, samhälle. I've read that some, some media reports will say you guys are essentially terrorists or you're extremists. What do you think to that? The working class uh, build this society. Every house you see, every road you see, the, the working class have built. And, and still we got nothing to say about uh, how, we ha how this uh, society is going to progress. So if the, the, the same society that uh, pieces me on an everyday basis called me a terrorist, then I'm feeling kind of proud, actually. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. These guys, okay, look, look. Uh, this is, they're, Swed they're Swedish, not, not American uh, citizens that live in Seattle. Uh, <laughs> don't, know, don't know why I have to say that. Um, uh, they're also much more extreme than a lot of people that live, uh, that do Antifa stuff. Uh, Dikaz, thanks for following. Uh, like people that, people that like engage with, with Antifa on the ground. I, I haven't seen them target fascists in their homes yet. Is that a thing? Yeah, you gotta love when Dick As and Ligma Bowls are are loving life in chat. You gotta love it. Um, okay, all right. Uh, this is this is literally fear mongering. Uh, Mitch McConnell's house got egged today. Uh, I saw the proposed uh, uh, graffiti like like vandalization of Mitch McConnell. And um, um, Nancy Pelosi's house, and I gotta say, uh, those Antifa members sure do tag a lot like cops. <laughs> I'm a little sus about it. It seems more like Proud Boys to me. You know what I mean? Like if you if you look at them, uh, they literally write an Antifa symbol. It's like that old guy with the with the blacks rule and a burnt American flag on his driveway. Same energy. Like. If it's real, those were the dumbest, those were the dumbest Antifa members that we have. <laughs> yeah, with the, and they taped the bricks off and shit, like, come on, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, like, if, if an Antifa member was that close to Mitch McConnell's house, how are they not taking a shit on his porch? How? In the world. 
<laughs> anyway. It might be real. I have no idea. I'm not going to conspiracy theory about it, but it really seemed it, it, it was either just shitty or like not Antifa. They're allowed to be shitty, though. It could have been. Socialist terrorism isn't anything new, but these are the exact kind of tactics and ideology we see in modern day Antifa. Anarchists oh. and socialists destroying fascism by physically assaulting and attempting to murder its followers. Okay. Obviously, regardless of if the people they were attacking could be legitimately called fascists or not, they do not deserve to be physically attacked. And even Vice agreed with this in the documentary at the time. And as Tim Paul noted, these fringes have existed since at least the 2011 Occupy protest. Way before that. Anti-fascism has, has existed forever since fascism was a thing. However, their numbers and the tactics have exploded since the election of Donald Trump. But things really start to kick off with the events of Berkeley in 2017. Those violent protests erupting overnight at UC Berkeley. The campus locked down as more than a thousand people rallied against the appearance of a controversial editor from Breitbart, Milo Yiannopoulos. Berkeley's mayor says it is time to confront the violent extremism on the left. Hundreds of black bloc anarchists were seen jumping the barriers, some attacking Trump supporters. Firstly, this kicks off with a speech from Milo Yiannopoulos. Who I lived down the road from McConnell's house during college, and I still regret never taking a shit on his porch. <laughs> oh, boy. At a left-wing university and give a speech with fellow conservatives in which he would say things like, conservatism good, progressivism bad. So in response... Oh, my God. That is not what my... F framing my... I think Milo would take offense to you framing him like that. Are you kidding me? What? Yeah, he called them black block. I, I just, there was so much going on there. There's so many wrong things. Oh, boy. Uh, so, look. It's not antithetical to free speech for you to go to a platform and for people watching you on that platform to go, fuck you, get off the platform. It's antithetical to free speech when the government does it. That's it. Other people get to shout you down. That's how free speech moves. It's just it's just how it is. It's always been that way. But we're in the public square. Yeah, and sometimes people will shout you down from the public square. If there's enough people that disagree with you, they're just louder than you. Like, that's how free speech works. Free speech has never been about how citizens treat each other. It's always been about the relationship between your free speech and how the government treats it. That's the whole thing. The whole thing. Fucking milk boy. Once Antifa turned up, attacked random protesters, set fire to things in the building, attacked the building, and then pepper sprayed a woman for wearing a Make Bitcoin Great Again hat. <laughs> Overnight mayhem on campus. The University of California, Berkeley, erupting in flames as over a thousand came out to protest. He's a fascist and Berkeley did not welcome him. At least six people were injured, including this Trump supporter who was pepper sprayed. Okay, so it was a Trump supporter. Armed police had to be... Look, look, look. I'm not... I don't know why I have to say this every time. It's just the Richard Spencer punch all over. I'm not advocating for you to pepper spray people because they have a political opinion. However, if you have a political opinion that is divisive, it would be surprising in this climate, in this place and time, with society the way it is, with discourse the way it is, it would be very surprising for you to be surprised that that occurs on the left or the right. If you are a uh, big, loud, gay drag queen, you're just like, fabulous, and like, fuck you, Proud Boys, and then the Proud Boys punch you in the face at a Proud Boy rally, and you went there to seek out interaction with the Proud Boys... It should not surprise you. Do I condone you getting punched in the face? No. But it's like it's like speeding and getting a ticket. It's like you knew that there was a potential for that to occur. When it happens on the right, 
It's the same thing. If you are Richard Spencer and you're wearing a Pepe pin and you go to a clearly left-wing rally and then you try to fucking be Richard Spencer, a known Nazi, surprise, people will recognize the Nazi. Like, it's... I, I, I don't know. Reminder, 93% of protests were peaceful. Yeah, but that's not sexy for the news. And that's certainly... Like, what is... Is, is Milk Boy going to come on here and be like, 7% was violent? No, of course not. He's got a spin. Yeah, I don't feel bad for her either. I don't like the pep- pepper spray is actually too far for me. For most people. Most people. Um, I could do a punch in Rich Spencer. So, so... I'm of two minds of it. Well, I actually have one mind. Here, here's the thing. Um, yeah, this is Milk Boy. This is Milk Boy. This is uh, Sargon of Akkad's co-host on Lotus Eaters. He's just I, his name is Milk Boy. I don't know because uh, he looks like a bag of milk. As you can see right here, this is an, a literal picture of him uh, in normal lighting. That's just how he looks. So, um, so here, look. Again, I am not like super. I don't think it's super productive to punch people in the face. Ever, really. It's never really super productive. That said, political violence has space. Surprise, it exists for a reason. Um, And then on top of that, I'm also zero surprised and I'm zero upset about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's just a picture of milk. Yeah, but also it's a boy. It's a milk boy. It says it right there. It's labeled. Um, you can also see it on his forehead uh, if you enhance the image. Um, yeah, so so it's 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 really about like yeah, but f- but sometimes fuck optics, right? But sometimes fuck optics. You know, it just has to happen. And and again, I say this on the right or the left. If you go, if you know you're going to a Proud Boys rally and you antagonize them. With being correct, by the way, if you antagonize them and you get punched in the face, I can't say I'm going to be surprised that that occurs. Not only that, they're known to fucking want to seek out fights. So, like, I don't suggest going to do that. I don't suggest it. I said, it's going to happen. There's going to be fights. It's what happens. I don't know why we're sensationalizing this shit. Oh my god, when, when I'm in the refrigerator, there's no fights there. I'm just the big gallon of milk. That's all I do. Big bag of milk sitting in the Canadian pitcher. That's all I am. And then when I come out here, everyone's punching each other. Like, come on. Like, why are we pretending? I don't understand this this the, this false pretense of, like, civility. Like, what? You guys have fucking soccer hooligans. Like, literally, what? deployed to protect the building and milo was evacuated for his own safety in the following this month, is a fucking virtue thing, signal conservatives gathered to march for trump and left-wing antifa turned up when the proud boys attacked pride here in 2019 defenders weren't thinking but optics of course not yeah no fuck the proud boys 100 <laughs> like, percent. Get, get fucked to assault them. the proud boys are way worse than antifa has ever been for wanting to gather the pro-Trump crowd started their march, but were followed around Berkeley by the anti-Trump protesters. In the end, 10 people were reportedly arrested. Oh, no. Notable from this protest was the fa- So, so, they were arrested for the things they did. Where's the story? There you go. Proud Boys are literally brown shirts? Yeah, pretty much, except they use yellow now. Yeah. Famous bike lock incident, in which an ethics professor took a bike lock in a sock and hit a protester over the head. And the police were widely criticized for not keeping the two groups apart. And then again in August, the exact same pattern. Conservatives gather to give a protest and left wing anti far turn up to attack them for gathering. Yeah, the guy got punished for that. I don't I don't know. It's like, hey, how many of you think that we should we should bike lock in a sock the average Trump supporter? I'm not really for that. Like, gotta say, not a big fan of that course of action. 
<laughs> Again, it's about it's about, it's about punitive like this this punishment shit. That's not a thing I'm for. That said, when it happens, like if you want to take that course of action, okay, understand there's consequences. Okay. You can defend yourself with bike lock, sure. That doesn't seem like th- I I but plead the fifth on prep. <laughs> Look, don't change the parameters of what I said, chat. Okay? If you're defending yourself, use whatever you want. Okay. Use use bags of milk. The ring. Famously, CNN embedded themselves with an anti fast cell in Portland and tried to show them as some kind of heroic heroes fighting fascism instead of the left-wing street thugs that they really are. We are meeting members of the Rose City Antifa, short for anti-fascist. This group's main goal is to disrupt neo-Nazis and white supremacists, but also take on government and capitalism. This saga only really came to an end when conservative Ben Shapiro came to Berkeley to give a speech. He had to pay $600,000 in security fees to ensure Antifa could not attack and disrupt the conservative gathering. You cannot run a democratic system like this. In a republic, the police not only have the right, but the duty to ensure people's rights to engage in politics and to be safe from people like Antifa. Do you, so when they talk about the Proud Boys and when they, they, they like literally actively seek out violence, how does he feel about that? How does Milk Boy feel about that? I would love to have a discussion with Milk Boy, whose name I genuinely do not know. Can we get Milk Boy on the on the show? Let's have a chat, Milk Boy. Do you have a you said you had Twitter? Twitter. Lotus Eaters? Is that it? VK? What the fuck is VK? was just a gorilla. Uh, thanks for following the Lee Rock Rising Phoenix with 100 biddies. Since he keeps poking at the Berkeley protests as someone who lives in the area and remembers the shit, the specific, that specific attack was from a right-wing antagonist protest. There were Nazis there prepared for a fight. No, oh, surprise. Anyway, VK is Russian Facebook. Surprise. Uh, Twitter. LotusEaters.com Followed by not Robin Hood and Myth Informed. <laughs> now followed by your boy. because uh, I need I need to keep tabs on these fucks. Uh do they do they like have discourse on the Twitter? Of course not. Nah. Just shilling. Just shilling. Lotus eater. God, they're so fucking stupid. Uh Do they do they just like her? What why aren't feminists celebrating Amy Coney Barrett? Because leftists aren't into identity politics. Jesus. How are these people so fucking stupid, man? His name is Milky Baggins? Aww. His name is Milky Baggins? I like it. And the same is true if it was reversed. If a socialist speaker or a socialist gathering was taking mm-hmm. place, yes. the police would also need to protect it from any nationalists wishing to harm the socialists. That would be true, except the situation was to, to shout them down. She literally has to get permission from her husband to do stuff? Wow. That's some dub some sub-dumb shit right there. Uh, that would not be true in Berkeley. Yeah, I I don't know what the fuck. This is not the case. And the failure to protect conservatives from thugs like Antifa is what led to the creation of the Proud Boys groups. These groups rightfully deserve any criticism they get for anything wrong they do. However, their reason for existing is because the state did not protect the rights of conservatives in places like Berkeley. Shut the fuck. Police are nationalists. I was going to say something similar. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say police are fascists, but um, <laughs> defense against Antifa. Brother, oh my God, Milky Baggins. There's a big problem we have here. <laughs> okay. Um, here's the reason. 
that someone like Milo gets shouted down from his uh, talking thing at Berkeley, uh, whereas a a uh, leftist would not. Um, uh, one's incorrect. <laughs> like like they don't like Milo like know your fucking audience dude like go to Liberty University or something you'll get you'll get suckled there like like go go to I don't know just literally any any conservative place of learning which is not many but go to it you'll get you'll get you'll get what you want but going to Berkeley like it's a, obviously a lefty space which is probably why Milo did it like, and then people were like, no, fuck off. Like, <sighs> Milo lost his speaking engagement because he made pro pedo comments. Uh, was that at Berkeley? I thought Berkeley came before that. I could be wrong. It's all such a blur. <laughs> and it is that failure that led to street violence becoming part and parcel of American politics. Street violence is not part and parcel to American politics. It happens very rarely. God, he's such a fucking... He's so fucking virtue signaling. A lot of people think that we're like burning our city down and we're rioting and destroying everything. I mean, I think there is some level of truth to that. Why not just ignore them so they don't have more ammo and exposure? Do you think, okay, so, okay, all right, all right, I, I guess I have to address platforming, oh, so dumb, um, this isn't Joe Rogan, you literally, you can't watch this without me taking a big fucking steaming pile of shit dump on Milk Boy. You, how are you going to know he's dumb shit if no one's ever told you he's dumb shit? Stop pretending that, that, that yelling at dumbasses like this, like this fucking guy, where's Milk Boy at? Where's he at? Milk Boy. Stop pretending that yelling at Milk Boy is somehow positively platforming him. I thought we left this behind in 2017 or some shit. What is that picture? It's a picture of Milk Boy. It's literally one to one. How can you not recognize him? Look at him. Milk boy? Milk boy. Milk boy? Nope. That's Jake boy. Where? Oh, I'm off step. Milk boy. Milk boy. Milk boy. Milk boy. Milk boy. Do you get it now? Oh, I'm so glad, Vero son. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I just misunderstood you. That is so much better. I'm glad I didn't 360 no scope you. He is very white, but I should not throw stones. White. I love mayo. I'm not going to lie about it. Uh, I can't help but think fat Michael Sarah. I know, right? As far as, as far as platforming Milo, um, hmm. I mean, <laughs> frankly, just because the students at Berkeley are left-wing does not mean that Berkeley is left-wing. It's a capitalist institution that's there to make money, and having Milo Yiannopoulos at the time seemed to be beneficial. And frankly, it got Berkeley a whole lot of publicity. So, uh, oh, Yacht Jax, thanks so much for the five uh, community subs, man. I appreciate you. Noam Chomsky, uh, Anodyne Quinine, Producer Dane, Querulous, Artisan, and uh, Platomatic. Good You've all been gifted subs baby. by Yacht Jaxed. I think that's how you say it, right? Yacht Jaxed. Appreciate you. Ignoring was a better action. I could be wrong. Could 
call, baby bird. See, call. you can't ignore someone. As far as platforming Milo from Berkeley's standpoint, they're, they're, they are, I mean, again, call, it's a capitalist bird. motivation there. It's oh. not like, a, I don't think they were like, oh, politically, this is a good thing for discourse. Um it depends on how you platform. Like the way I would platform Milo is not the same so- way someone else would platform Milo. I wouldn't. I would attack Milo. Basically, I'd be like, "This is bullshit. Here's why you're wrong. Fuck you." Uh, the the difference is is if you platform somebody, um, and uh, you either support their speech or you don't support it. That's pretty much it. Um, so if if I was going to platform Milo from a from like a Berkeley standpoint, if I'm Berkeley, I go, okay, well, it'll be a debate with somebody that is reasonable and can go on both sides. That's fine to me. I, I don't like the um, unmitigated. But that said, uh, uh, it's a place of education. Um, and so while I would prefer it, it's my personal political belief that he's dog shit. Comrade Manners, thanks for following. Um, it's hard for me to... Like I don't want to ban anybody's shit. I, what? What? Because because Berkeley, I believe, gets federal funds, and so this is kind of like a, a gray area where it's not just my podcast. You know what I mean? Like podcast is different than something else. Um, but again, like if the public shouts you down, that's what fucking happens, and that's what happens. So um, that's kind of the way it's it usually does go anyway. So it's not. I think I think we need to stop worrying about platforming, worrying about how we platform. Platforming in general is not necessarily a bad thing. Should be allowed on stage, but we should be allowed to be in this crowd. And boo. That's pretty much the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, Berkeley is a state-owned school, so yeah. So I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't have Berkeley. It is. It is, of course, uh, had monetary incentive to allow him there, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want uh, Berkeley then um, to uh, ban any particular viewpoint from from anywhere. It's just like I. It's that's not something I'm willing to go to. Uh, but then again. I would be happily in that crowd and be like, fuck you! Like, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? The reason I think this is because 50 to 100 UCLA conservative seems better than the entirety of skeptic YouTube. Is there something I'm missing? I don't know what you mean by better. Oh, you mean like like them not being exposed? Well, this is, again, this is the thing. This is this is different. Like you're talking about, like now you're talking about like platforming on YouTube and stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. Let like there's just no way to put that in the bottle. Like this is a this is an old mindset where social media doesn't exist. Uh, you can't. There's no way to prevent that from disseminating. You just can't do it. It's gonna get out there. Nothing you can do about it. You gotta combat it. British Antifa. There's a reason our Antifa are so tame. Social media is relatively new, though. So that that's like it makes sense because things got worse after social media, specifically politically. Um, well, not really necessarily worse. It just was like louder, really. Because I mean, before we had like literal slavery and stuff. So I mean, you know, uh, yeah. And thankfully, Vice News documented exactly how this happened. In 2009, two neo-Nazi boneheads were on a train to Wellington in southeast London. 14 militant anti-fascists were waiting for them on the platform. One shouted, kill the Nazis, and the mob attacked. One of the duo was beaten to the floor and set upon, while the other was chased onto the railway tracks. The anti-fascists started to disperse, but not before several riot vans had arrived, six activists were arrested on the scene, and several months later, there were dawn raids across the country. Okay. I still don't understand... They they got jail time. The police were involved. What are we talking about here? The British Transport Police arrested around 30 people in raids involving hundreds of officers. More than a dozen of those arrested were to face trial for conspiracy to commit violent disorder, an offence with a maximum sentence of five years. Okay. And a quote from a member of the British Antifa at the time, By arresting so many suspected members, the police largely stopped the network from functioning. The bail conditions given to the arrested members made it very difficult for them to continue their political activity. Okay. Ryan explained, I was banned from entering the entire national rail network, several London boroughs, and I couldn't even appear in public with more than two people. I was banned from attending any pre-planned gathering 
and wasn't allowed out of my house between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. Okay. Since then, confrontations between fascists and anti-fascists have been characterized more by pitch battles on large <laughs> demonstrations, often broken up by baton-wielding riot cops, rather than fighting in dark side streets. This is how you keep violence out of politics. When anyone engages in acts of violence, the mainstream political sphere has to denounce the violence, and the police have to act to arrest those engaging in it. Not everything Antifa does is violence, though, bro. Otherwise, the violence escalates. This is one of the reasons why the Labour Party in the UK and the Democratic Party in the US are so dangerous. Fucking wow. The Democrats don't support this at all. What do you... There... I... Ah! Ah! It's always milky British people that do this. I fucking... It drives me nuts. They are happy to allow violence to go on provided it helps their cause. And they are happy to protect Antifa when they carry out attacks on conservatives because they think it helps them. Wow. Cool, man. Cool, bro. Cool job. Good job, Milky. Milky Baggins. What a good guy. Milky Baggins, you might be around. You might be around from time to time. Milky Baggins. Good old, good old Sargon boy.